Hi, this is Michael Pryor from PB Advisory Group, Certified Practicing Accountants. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cash flow forecast using Zero Cloud based accounting software and Excel. Log into your company file first. I'm using the demo company for this demonstration. From your dashboard go to Reports, All Reports. Click on Budget Summary and I've got July 2014 through to 12 uh, and a number of periods to show as 12 periods. I don't need to do anything else but um, if it wasn't showing that that's what I'm looking for. I export this now to Excel. I open up the Excel file and I want to make sure that I've enabled the editing on that file so if it hasn't allowed you you need to click on that. We need then to go back to our zero file and hit reports again all reports. This time we want to click on cash summary and I want the date to be July of the same year and I only need one month but I want to click on more options here and show working capital with non-operating movements. Hit update. Then I export this file again to Excel. So now I've got the free file, uh, the two files here, the demo company um, budget and the demo company um, cash flow statement. Now I need to merge these files, but before I do that, I'll I'll go to the budget summary. And because I'm bringing in the cash flow forecast for July, I need to delete this column. So just as you would normally do in Excel, just delete that column. Going back to the cash flow summary, cash summary, I now hit format, move or copy the sheet, and I'm going to copy it to into the overall budget one and put it straight behind the overall budget, so at the end. Now before I do anything else, I need to save this file to a location. I'm using the desktop at this point in time. So File, Save As, and I'm just going to call it um, I'm just going to call it Cash Flow Summary. Cash Flow Summary and I'll hit save. Now the next thing is I need to open up a new worksheet make sure that my cursor is in cell A1 then I go to data consolidate and this dialog box will um, appear. You ensure that the function is sum but you need to create two references so the first reference is to the cash summary worksheet and you want to pick up all the information in the left hand column and the July column. You add that. You then reference the overall budget and again the left hand column plus August through to June. Remembering that we deleted the July column. We add that. Now in the section use labels in click Check on the top row left column and create links to source data, then hit OK. As you can see, all the information has come through, but it looks fairly um, unusable at this point in time. It needs to be reformatted. I won't go through all that today, but, I, but you can see July 2014 through to June 15. I prepared one earlier, and I'll use that to show you um, after, after the formatting. As you can see, total income, um, I've reformatted the total income line and put um, and bolded out all the totals and gone right through it. We collect and one, one of the adjustments we need to do at this point in time is we collect and pay GST on goods and services as we incur them, yet we only remit the net amount um, at the end of each quarter or the month after the end of the quarter. So we need to adjust for this. And you can see 
in lines 73 and 75 we have the GST inputs and outputs and then I've added a line in the yellow section called uh, GST paid and this is as it's going out and the reason we've got this separate is because all the um, expense and revenue items above are net of GST so in October we will pay for the first quarters and in February we pay for the December quarter and, and then again in April so they're the three components for this one if you're going out further then um, you would add in one in July 2015 now there's only two other items that you need to concern yourself with and that would be if you're aware of any capital purchases you need to add a line in for capital purchases and the timing of them um, and also if there is any depreciation expense in the expenses section above then you'll need to take that out because it's a non-cash item now that's it it's pretty simple um, but it really can help you manage your cash flow I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial if we can be of assistance then please feel free to contact us at PB Advisory Group in the meantime if you um, like this video feel free to share it with your friends thank you